don't. That's fine. That's fine. Fuck a countdown. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have sweared right in the beginning. <laughs> no, well, it's probably fine. I wonder if we'll, I don't know if they still demonetize. For you know that. what? Damn it! On my on my way home, I was I wanted to look something up. Okay. Uh, Royalty free, jaunty piano music. Jaunty piano. You think Kevin McLeod be... is always uh, free? Who is that guy? Yeah. Kevin McLeod. Yeah, yeah. I, everybody uses Kevin McLeod's right. music. I hear him in everything. That's our half in the bag. He's, uh, <laughs> almost drunk, starring. Dick Masterson Drinking and having fun And here comes the movies Yeah It's a movie time for you and you Alright There it is Welcome to our Half in the Bag ripoff show The biggest With no beer Review Yeah why do we not get beer The biggest review of uh, Kong X Godzilla. Okay. What is it? Rise of the Titans? Empire Empire of the Titans? That was my first disappointment in this movie. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just Kong X Godzilla. Yeah. And then they threw that title thing in at the, the new the Empire. Start, and I said, oh, fuck off. It's this the new is going to be so bad. <laughs> um. So this well, thanks for another shut up. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get nailed. This is this is part of the problem is that you always like nail me. Like, why do we have to see a shitty movie? I don't know it's shitty going into it. How could it not have been? Because I because the last Godzilla movie was good. Godzilla minus one. Yeah, that was good. The Japanese one. The Japanese one. And this is like Chinese. Well, this is definitely Dirty made knees. for Chinese people oh, with all man. these CGI monster action. But I was like, it doesn't have to be that good. It just has to kind of be like, you know, a stupid monster slugfest. I almost threw up. I, I, I we started in, feeling nauseous a little bit. In Rio, was that Brazil? Yeah. In Rio de Janeiro? Yeah. When it was, when we were taking well, the- Spinning the wave. The and wave, the, and the wave was freezing, <laughs> and then the portals were opening. I was like, I'm going to be fucking sick. <laughs> well, we saw this movie uh, just now. We saw it in the Screen X format, which was kind of cool. Screen X should be- <laughs> Thrown into a portal. <laughs> Screen X is like Screen vomit X is X. the worst thing <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I didn't hate it that I was like, ah, oh, kind of cool. It's like, uh, for those that don't know, they project part of the movie on the walls of the movie theater. It's like you're in a 3D tunnel. Imagine if the movie could nag you on both sides <laughs> while you're trying to watch the movie. Yeah. Imagine if you're watching a movie, right? Mm-hmm. And first, what everyone always says when they watch a movie is, I wish this was four by three, like an old yeah, uh, like a TV computer show. monitor, yeah. and not sixteen by nine, right? And be immersive and wide. Yeah, the main screen is like not the same. Uh, what do you call it? Four by three. Right. And then the second thing everybody always wants in a in a movie is for a extreme low resolution cross projection right. at a slant. Where, like, uh, the edges are kind of really blurry and, like, stretched out. And where it doesn't really fit your periphery. Like, it's not VR. Yeah. It doesn't fit your periphery. So it was shot, like, just to splash on the walls. But it, it like, forces you every time it pops up. Yeah, right. It's not the whole movie. Not so the whole movie. Go, it's, like, specific <laughs> action scenes. And then make you go, ah! But does that mean the rest of the movie, when you watch it normally, we're missing part of the visual information because it's shrunk down to be on a 4-3 f- kind of format? It felt like it was cropped we in. We missed a lot of bad. I think it was cropped in, and that's why we were sick. There was like I couldn't tell what was going on. Yeah, I think in order to work with that Screen X format, they have to like they must have to crop off the top and bottom a little bit. Yeah, because there were some scenes where I'm like, I feel like Kong is missing some headroom now. So, yeah. I, I mean that's just speculation, but it was like I felt I was too close. To, to King Asian, Kong and Asian theater. Asian that theater. That was the issue. <laughs> there was movie posters for stuff I'd never, I felt like I was in a foreign land. Oh, yeah, you're right. We did watch this uh, show in my Asian neighborhood, which all sorts of weird Korean drama posters and shit hanging up. I like that theater. It's cheap for yeah. good reason. Yeah. We'll go to the nice theater for the next one. Okay. It's Tuesday. It's half price movie day. That was too much. Yeah, you know, all this two all bucks was too much for yeah. the Screen X experience. Yeah, half price was was still too much, yeah. and uh, uh, two hour running time was way. Was that two hours? Yeah. Well, here's what's interesting about that movie is, um, it was even for two hours, you could tell that the editor was like rushed out of his like 
in the way that they're like, just get through the human shit. It doesn't matter. There doesn't need to be any like good proper timing of dialogue or anything. Just zip yeah. through it because we have to get to all this CGI monkey shit. I appreciated that because it's a woman led movie. Yeah, just which get rid- <laughs> I don't need get rid of to more. see another one in my life. <laughs> The problem was as you're watching I want to save those yeah. for the next generation. Guys, I'm I'm at my limit of women-led action movies. Mm. So just save these for the next generation of men to beat it into them. This is know? definitely a I'm movie cucked. for all you sweet baby ink conspiracy theorists. Bro, where was the military? And at one point they cut to a submarine which is led by a blank uh, like captain, and there's just a woman. And he's the lecturing submarine. two women yeah. on the nuclear submarine <laughs> that's following Godzilla for some reason. Right. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be the problem with this review. Is I don't know what was happening. I do. Okay. I kind of remember the first one of this when they fought and then they teamed up to fight Mecha Godzilla. Right. That was the previous movie. And then it ended with. Uh, King Kong going underground, the Hollow Earth. Yeah, and being um, the 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 toe fetish people of conspiracy theorists, the Hollow Earth people. Yeah, right. The dumbest conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so King Kong lives in a Hollow Earth where everything's weird looking and supernatural. And it's like and, Jurassic Park down there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Godzilla lives on the surface of the Earth and just trashes the cities and sleeps in the Colosseum like a little cat. Yeah, it's weird. It's like he's Kind of, they like tolerate him because he's fighting other monsters that show up. But yeah. it's also like, ah, oh, fucking Godzilla, man. He just like shows he's up, kills- killing lots of people. Yeah, it's still not great, but they're like, well, it's better than him doing other stuff, I guess. I feel like uh, this is how it would be to be in like an abused wife, like right. watching this movie, the way the monsters are acting. Well, the way Godzilla is acting, you'd go. There would be a team trying to figure out how to poison him or something or like a nano. That's what all the men were doing. Right. That's why we got to follow this crack woman team. <laughs> we have to we have to accept team. that humanity has just said, yeah, that's Godzilla. Sometimes he just shows up. Are all the guys on this shit. world dead? Did they all go out for <laughs> cigarettes and they never came back? Can I speak to a man, please? Yes. In charge of the Godzilla uh, killing force? No, the, God, the Godzilla team, you're right, it was a lady in charge of, like, the secret government organization, and then also the main lady was a lady, Uh-huh. and then there's a deaf girl. Another lady. Another lady. An Indian. Uh, oh, oh, she's so minority, They're, her people don't even exist anymore. Right. She's, Literally the last of her kind. She's the last of her tribe, and she's deaf, so she's a disabled. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot here. Uh, do we just go through this movie I think as that's, we do? Well, do we do nor- we do our first impressions and then we go through it? No, no, no. We'll just How do, you, well, you do it. You're the guy. You're the format guy for. These. I mean, first impressions. I'm going to say that the parts of the movie that worked for me was. Uh, when it was just a King, well, King Kong walking around doing monkey stuff, and there's no dialogue. I was like, all right, this is kind of like a stupid cartoon I could enjoy. Oh. And then anytime they came back to the humans who were like, there's crystals and there's a magic tribe and there's a there's a water temple. And I'm like, why? Why does any of this exist? Yeah. So, I mean, and I'm, it's not like the monkey parts were the best thing ever, but at least it was like kind of a cool video game cutscene. <laughs> the hell monkey. We saw, I there saw were two monkeys. brought to life. There was a lot of if you're a fan Literally, of the Ripperverse. They go to hell. Yes. Where there are other evil King Kongs in hell. Right. And there's a leader of them who wants to kill a the but yeah. There's yeah. the biggest hell monkey who's like the real bad one. Who wants to kill the uh, the good monkey. There was uh, some uh, dialogue that I started having flashbacks of uh, the Yaira trailer and stuff like that. Yeah. It's definitely a. See, it's weird watching this movie where, like, you, you ever, like, go and you see a good movie and then you get stuck uh, in your head? Not for a while. But you see one on, like, TV and you're like, ah, a good cinema. Good I know movie. what this is. Yeah. And then you forget that they're still making, like, tr- just pure trash like this. Yeah. Where it's just, like, so trashy and full of, like, the most obvious tropes in the world that you think you've seen. Like, it's like it's like a movie that you've seen a million times before. When the guy, when they were establishing that they had a history, and yeah. the, guy that, the, Ace, the guy that looked like Ace Ventura, the, the King Kong's dentist, not joking. Yes. When he said, uh, they were flirting, and he said to the lead woman, uh, wow, she's smart. Uh, she sounds like she has a degree. And she goes, two, actually. I wanted to shoot myself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt I wanted to Ed Pisker myself right out of the theater. It's one of these movies that feels like a fake movie within another movie. It's how like trite and stupid all the dialogue is. It felt like 
playing. It felt like watching a video game and playing a like uh, those Skinner box video games where you just have to like recharge and yeah. rebuild. Because all the it would cut to the Godzilla parts, and that was like when I would be. Looking at my phone, playing like you're having a good time playing Candy Crush. Uh, yeah, that's, or that's no, that doing. would be like playing Candy Crush <laughs> on your phone, yeah. and then you'd cut back to the King Kong parts, and that would be like video game dialogue and yeah, uh, you know, just watching cool cutscenes in between crystals. The, what was I gonna say? This movie does that thing where it knows it needs to be funny, but rather than hire anyone who can write jokes, it just goes, which is easy. Which is very easy, and there's a lot of jokes to be made about like a giant monkey and a fucked up d dragon, radioactive dinosaur, and whatever the fuck. There's a lot of opportunity for humor there, but this is one of those movies where they just go, "Well, if we just put a bunch of wacky characters with different accents yeah. in a room, that's yeah. basically the same thing as comedy, right?" Yeah. And you're like, no, you have to actually like the black the guys it. running around. He's like, "Oh, I'm I'm scared," and the Ace Ventura guy's like, "Oh, hold on to your hats, folks," and like. Like, you know, at some point you got to come up with something witty for them to do or say. I don't think I laughed once at any of the jokes. In the, I laughed at a part of the movie really hard that we'll get into, but that was not intentional from them. I, there's one funny part yeah. in the movie. It's because they that queen of the, of the super Indians mm -hmm. that are living inside the hollow earth, the black guy's talking shit about her civilization, and then, they, then she says, oh, she can understand you because she reads minds and she's looking at him. Yes. And I was like... Finally, a straight person. Like, <laughs> that's why it's funny because yeah. everyone's just like an obnoxious You're jackass, right. and that was funny because she's like, "That's like, the, oh, that's it's a the, joke." Yes, holy shit! That's actually a big problem with like these modern like comedies is that it's everybody's a little bit wacky. King and Kong's a straight man. Yeah, King Kong is the straight man in the movie. The the female scientist should not be cracking wise and looking around and whatever. She should be like every single one. Right. She 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 should be upset with this Ace Ventura guy dentist, and she's like, oh, yeah, you're so unprofessional, and like you know, can we just take this seriously? But no, she's like goofing and mugging for the camera as yeah. well. All right. Well, let's talk about the plot of this movie. Why did movie. you want to see this movie? Let's talk about the plot of that. Well, because I asked you to see Ghostbusters, and you said no. And I asked like you. Shit. And I, hold on, I have the text. Don't act like this was not something you wanted to do. I, I mean, I saw it, but I thought it would be, I, also I don't know. Thought it I would thought you something. did your research. Okay, hold on. Want to see Godzilla X Kong on Tuesday? Yeah, let's do it! Exclamation yeah. point. Yeah, let's do it. With an exclamation point! That ex expresses uh, interest and excitement. Oh, man. I, I did not read any reviews going into this. At some point, I did glance at a Rotten Tomatoes score of like 58%, and I went, oh. That's high. <laughs> That's, that is honestly That's high, high for this movie. Yeah. Uh, so let's see if we can cover the Go plot. Because like I said, I don't completely get it. Maybe you understood better. Well, the one has the Earth and one has the under-Earth. But what know. was at stake? Was Earth in trouble? Mechagodzilla. No, Mechagodzilla guys already got to take care of. Liberals had built a <laughs> that was in robot the last one. Godzilla. Right. Well, then what's, what do you mean? I mean, what's at stake in this movie? Oh, uh, Mothra. But Mothra's good. I don't know. They were all the monkeys, the hell monkeys from Isom Two. Were gonna okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think that the hell monkeys were gonna destroy Earth, but they don't really establish that very well. The woman adopting that little girl was it? Yeah. Stake. Well, that's the what was. It's the, oh, I'm that. so glad that my King Kong movie is about a little girl and her mom. <sighs> all right. So the movie opens. King Kong is in the Hollow Earth. He's yeah. fighting little animals, uh, but he's sad. He's sad for, I believe, two reasons. One, he's the only big monkey. Yeah. And two, he's got a big old toothache. It's great. Save the cat. Save the cat. Like, oh, man, that tooth looks bad. That tooth looks bad. That sucks, That's bro. something that's got to get yeah. taken care All of. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Godzilla, as we've discussed, is just doing anything he wants, uh, mm -hmm. beats up a big crab monster, and then takes a nap in the Coliseum. Uh, Godzilla is not really a part of this movie until the end. It's almost like a joke calling it uh, King Kong X Godzilla. You need to have it's like, a King Kong movie that Godzilla uh, appears yeah. in at the end for you know visual effect. You need to have like scientists and stuff to have a Godzilla movie. Yeah, you need got to be figuring stuff out. You needed something for Godzilla to do other than charging. He's up. fighting a different monster to steal its energy. Like they occasionally cut to that, but it has no bearing on. They anything. had like computer readouts that were like yeah. his maximum energy capacity is up twenty percent. 
How do you okay. know that? How do you track that? Godzilla's 20% more powerful than the last time. You know what? Honestly, that kind of goofy shit is funny, but then just go full on like moronic with it. The problem is it's still trying to have like this human a mother daughter mother daughter alien bonding to bullshit. fake ass kind of relationship. You know what it reminded me of is uh remember when we we uh, did a commentary for that Predators mo- or Predator, the one where Which the one? autistic kid the predator came for the autistic oh, child. Yeah, did we do that one? Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, why is Hollywood like obsessed with disabled kids being the key to like Oh, he's autistic. The predator wants his autism powers. It used to just powers. be you could just be a loser, yeah. and you would like rise up and you know be cool yeah. by facing your inner demons. But now you have to be like now you have to be a marginalized, they have to pluck you off the train to child. To... Not only is this kid uh, the last member of the E-way I was an aborted fetus. I climbed my way out. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too obvious when you put a character that low on the totem pole. Oh, it's a little deaf girl who's the last of her tribe. I wonder if she's going to be the key to unlocking everything, as she, of course, is. Uh, so we come up to the top world where the humans live. This little girl is having visions of uh, triangles, and yeah. they're also getting triangle data from. <laughs> <laughs> like a tremor is like. <laughs> yeah, like they're seeing tremor spikes on like, some readout. Seismograph is going nuts, and but she's they're like saying, scribbling on yeah, her she's desk. Scribbling. <laughs> And then uh, the white lady goes to the black guy, who I guess they're from. They're both from the previous movie. Which yeah, I did yeah, not see. yeah. He's like a conspiracy. She's guy. like, look at these uh, tremor reads out, and look at these triangles my daughter made. And any rational person would go, "Oh, you're your retarded. Is, yeah, your daughter. She needs <laughs> something's lithium. wrong with her." He goes, "No, she's getting signals, but they're like psychic signals or something. They're yeah. not seismic signals." I'm like, "How are they tracking psychic signals? What what device does that for the them?" The Mothra machine. Sure. Uh, meanwhile, there are portals. There's so much going on. There are portals between the hollow earth and the top world. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're very happy that King Kong is in the hollow earth because anytime King Kong's on the surface, Godzilla gets oh, real God. mad. They had that news. They started out with a news broadcast yes. to like set up the world. <laughs> yeah, and well, the I news anchor right asked away. the other one, and what about what Godzilla? About Godzilla? <laughs> <laughs> and I started laughing because it was like so. <laughs> and uh, what about Godzilla? King Kong is happily in the hollow earth. And what about Godzilla? It's like, you know, that's bad writing, but that is how the news that's is. That's how it that would is go. what it would say. Yeah. It would say. Our democracy is at stake. So they're all real worried because King Kong comes topside, which he's not supposed to do, but he comes because... He's redline. Well, redline he, laws. He has Keep a... Uh, in the hollow earth. Yeah, exactly. He's not allowed to see the sun. He needs uh, them to help fix his tooth. Uh, so then they call in this Ace Ventura. I didn't get anyone's name in this movie, and I don't care. I don't think they had names. No, I don't I know what they were, but they brought in this fake Ace Ventura guy. What mm-hmm. has he got, like an Australian accent or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love trying to, uh, well, no, that would be British. Anyway. Just slapping a little of the toothy and old <laughs> g- King Kong wrong a dong man. Can you fucking dial it back? It was definitely accents There's as an no excuse for personality. There's no way this clip about replacing the fang right. of the only giant monkey that there has ever been. Yeah, he could have ta- <laughs> taken it. He's like a rock star. He's like, yeah, and he's playing some songs. Dude, he cranking lowers it out. himself into Kong. All right. I mean, dentists do tons of tooth extractions. They don't behave like that. Well, he's a rock star, titan dentist, doctor, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so basically, what? So what is happening is, for some reason, they have the triangles, and they go, the triangles are some sort of uh, oh, the seismic readings. Yeah. Well, they're they're a distress call. Mm-hmm. They believe, and they're like, we got to go back down there with Kong to find out. What's sending those distress signals? So then they say that the military's not the mil the U.S. military wants to take over their operation, operation which That's somehow they, they have haven't done down. it yet. Yeah, and uh, you don't say no to the U.S. military. No, they don't. You don't get a choice. Israel, <laughs> and it wasn't. They weren't Jewish. Those were not Jewish people. Yeah. So the answer is uh, no. If her boss was a Jewish guy, I would have got. I would understood it. Yeah. Instead, it was like a Middle Eastern looking President lady. President Netanyahu, we've got word that Godzilla is in trouble. I understand. Oy vey. <laughs> well, we'll take care of the crisis in uh, Gaza, and you guys sent Godzilla over to Gaza. <laughs> Stomp all over it. <laughs> Do you guys want us to nuke the Hollow Earth? No, Netanyahu. No, hold on. We'll. And then the only white guy, the only white American guy that exists in the movie is their security detail. Dude, the second he showed who is, up, who is not 
ripped. Like he's no. a, he's an asshole, but he's the fattest one by far in the movie. That was the moment I went. Whoever wrote this is the laziest motherfucker who ever existed. So they're going. All right, we got to go down to the Hollow Earth, and this like fat white guy, <laughs> yeah, uh, just immediately starts running his mouth. In a way that you're like, okay, I know what you're doing. He's like, well, you're going to need me down there because you pansy asses. I'm yeah, like, they said, we don't want the U.S. government to take over this operation. He goes, yeah, God forbid anyone kill all the monsters. <laughs> and he's totally right. <laughs> and then they like they barely save the world and they kill millions of people yeah. in Rio de Janeiro fighting the monsters. You should probably just kill all the monsters. Yeah, the U.S. government should easier. come in there and kill all the monkeys. They should have done that a while ago. So the character who's completely right is portrayed as The monkeys, as by an the way, asshole. are enslaving a magical dragon. Right. <laughs> and they have for centuries. Centuries, yeah. So, so there was a war. That guy was very right. Yes. But because this is uh, bad Hollywood script writing, the loud, fat, white guy <laughs> Imme immediately is dead. destined to die. Yeah. Yeah. And I was thinking as I'm watching it, I'm like, wouldn't it be like interesting if the Ace Ventura guy just gets his head cut off or like the black guy just gets smashed between two logs? And you're like, wow, I genuinely <laughs> did not see that coming. Yeah, yeah. Instead, it's the obvious, obvious white guy. leftover character who's like, you ass. They're in the jungle. And uh, I think the black guy is like, oh, no, no, the Ace Ventura guy is like, I can sense something with my hippie powers. I sense something. Yeah. He's like, well, I trust my thermal scanner, you dumb piece of shit. And then a tree fucking eats him. Which is a real thing. Yeah. Like those those giant uh, corpse flowers mm -hmm. stink like meat and then they eat shit. Wouldn't they have a thermal si signature? I don't know. Maybe not. No, I, I don't I know. I would be a faint one. Regardless, I mean, he gets snapped up mighty quick. Uh, let's see here. And they had some kind of jet that went through the portal. Yeah, they had a jet. They go through the portal in a jet, because I guess humans probably can't survive the portal the way King Kong can. He can just jump through it. Uh, and they make a big deal out of the fact that it can camouflage itself as thunder dragons, which are also oh, man. down there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the movie then, there's an A plot and a B plot. I don't know which one's the A plot. I guess the humans are the A plot. Yeah. The B plot is King Kong walking around Hollow Earth and he finds oh, yeah. a little monkey baby. Oh yeah, he gets he gets attacked by a, a, a bunch of band shit of monkeys. immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit monkeys. He's walking around. Uh, Did what monkeys do you call exist it? before? Was he the only one? Because now there's a shitloads of well, King Kong. He lived on Skull he gets Island. He jumped into their gang. Right. Okay. He was living on Skull Island on the surface where he thought he was the last. He thought ape. he was the shit. You know. So then he's come down to Hollow Earth and he's like, "Oh my God, there's more monkeys. There's this little buddy monkey that he thinks is like a little baby monkey." And he's like, "Oh my God, I want to be friends with the little baby monkey." Turns out the baby monkey's a bad guy and is friends with a bunch of other bad monkeys. Man, I hate deciphering <laughs> fucking computers. Yeah. When I'm watching these movies, like their expressions, like I don't want to listen to monkey noises for 40 minutes. It please. was, uh, they. <laughs> 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 and they made a definite creative choice that, like, these do not look like actual monkeys. These are like Looney Tunes. They look like bums. Cartoon monkeys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they looked like homeless King Kongs. <laughs> like that one guy was bald and had, like, wisps yeah. of hair. Why like... does the evil ones all have to be, like, bald? I was like, come on, man. This is very, if this is yeah. very, like, whatever it is. Even even the, the most evil monkey was like y'all bald or like the old ones like their skins all fucked up and I'm like that seems racist on a some level yes. not racist but like you know oh ugly people they are bad the people one, that one bad monkey had a Pontiac and all the monkeys were going like <laughs> they make fun of King Kong's grill did you notice that I did see that the monkeys I fucking I like, King Kong I has his happening. replacement titanium tooth yeah King Kong's got a poly about a mm -hmm. cart whatever tooth that's silver. And the monkey, the bad monkey, points at he it goes, and looks look at, at all the other monkeys. And I'll go, ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Talk about upside down world. So King Kong is in the hollow earth. He's walking around. This little buddy monkey, who originally was a bad yeah. guy, he like kind of forces him to come with him. And a couple of guys who are up to no good yes, start making yes. trouble. Yogi and Boo Boo are walking around hollow earth, and Boo Boo is uh, uh, slowly warms up to liking King Kong and becomes his little buddy. Oh, yeah, because he feeds him. He feeds, he he feeds him, him some, some green meat. For some yeah. reason, the mammals are green. Well, I, and have yeah. green meat. 
Uh, that was what I noticed is during the uh, opening, he like rips a monster open. It's all green. And he gets covered in green goo. And I, I'm like, that was definitely blood before somebody came in and said, oh. this is a PG-13 movie. You have to make oh, the blood yeah. green. Uh, you're right. Because you can tell. You're like, oh, that was going to be like awesome. Like King Kong yeah, covered in blood. But now it has to be green goo. How about the VW golf ad? Did you yeah! see that shot? That was a... <laughs> I was like, come on, man. You can do product <laughs> placement, but it was at one point, they're like, we got to get in a VW. And it's like perfectly framed in the center of the screen. <laughs> where I was like, okay, you guys really want me to buy that car? <laughs> I mean, it was as though they were shooting a VW. It looked like a VW golf commercial. commercial. Yeah. And then they said, oh, can we hop in there and shoot our mom and daughter <laughs> scene real come quick? Come on, let's get in the car. And the VW emblem is like in the exact center Bro, of the screen. Bro, it looked identical to this, except it was on a... Uh, it was on like a beautiful like grass. beach or something. Yeah, yeah. there was like grass. a beautiful sunset behind it. <laughs> and you're like, okay. God, that was so bad. Uh, I wonder if there was any other product placement in there that I missed. But the VW, just like front and center, was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Dick's trying to bring up an example of what we saw there. there. It was exactly like that. It was angled a little more to the little to the left. Okay. Uh, that was classic. You go from King Kong to Why don't you buy this car? So they come down to the Hollow Earth. They come to a destroyed one of their. King Kong gets uh, insulted. Just oh yeah, like yeah, I, yeah, it was the plot of fucking I saw him. <laughs> he gets insulted by the bad monkeys. He gets disrespected. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't say it's exactly like I saw him. Similar. Yeah, he gets it's insulted better, by the bad monkey, and he's the good monkey. Well, it's different. The, the I saw him's not okay. Not uh, basically, we learned that there is a way, and they have a magic dragon. The bad monkeys. They have, have a magic, magic dragon. dragon. There's a. A guy known as the Scar Giver, who is supposed to be like the ultimate monkey, who kind of looked like a bitch. I'm like, why didn't you not just make like a way bigger monkey than King Kong? Yeah, he but he should have been like bigger than King Kong. They're like the same size. Nah, because he looked like Scar compared to Mufasa. Like he looked I like guess. all sick and gross, and he had that magical dagger that made the 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 opposite Godzilla has, uh, do whatever he wanted. Yeah, he has what my buddy described as Ivy's whip from Soul Calibur. He has like yeah. a spine whip. Yeah. And on the edge of the end of the spine whip is a magic crystal yeah. that can cause great damage to Shiva, which is an ice Godzilla. Ice Godzilla, yeah. Yes. So ice Godzilla. But there's they never explained why, did they? No. It's just there's it's a just, lot of it just goes like this. And the it ice says Godzilla it causes goes, it pain. Ah! Yes. For some reason he has a crystal that causes it pain. Yeah. And I guess that's why it just does whatever he hollers about because yeah. they don't talk. He just goes... Rawr, 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 and he's rawr. making all the King Kongs, like, dig for gold? That was not explained at all, yeah. All the King Kongs are working okay, in hell. There's a lot of stuff in this movie that, again, is like a scriptwriter saw movies before... And he's like, well, I have to show that the monkeys are slaves. And it's like, but what are they doing? They're like just, Temple of Do Doom. Why? Yeah, Temple but, of Doom. It was exactly like Temple of Doom, except they're a bunch of King Kongs instead it, of even kids. In But in Temple of Doom, we understood that the kids were digging for, like... The Shankar stones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here, the monkeys are moving rocks for no reason in a lava King pit. Kong was telling the little short round monkey that. <laughs> the movie's just Temple of Doom. The movie is kind of... I it's wanted like it to be more for the like Temple stones. of Doom. There was a lot of Temple of Doom stuff. There was a lot. There was a secret yeah, the temple. Yeah, plane crashed. Yes. There's a lot of like I saw Temple of Doom once. Dan Aykroyd was in it. And now the monkeys have to be slaves, but I'm not sure why or what they're doing. They're not building anything. Or like the natives. Remember at one point the natives. They should have been looking for a portal because they're trying. Wasn't that their that goal? That would have made sense. They're trying to get to the portal to. Okay, explain that. Yeah, they're looking Detroit. for a portal, or they have to build a portal. Yeah. Or they're they're mining the crystals they need to make the portal happen. No, they're just like lugging rocks for no reason. And they don't no seem reason. to like it, but there's a lot of them. And there's well, only... there's some apes that are slave apes, and some apes. That are like oh, yeah, assholes red. with red on them that yeah, hit yeah, the okay. slave apes. Uh, which you're like, okay, how did this hierarchy get us? Whatever, fine, I don't care. <laughs> Monkeys did this too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other thing is then we also, we'll get into it. Okay. But, uh, so they come down, the humans that we met, they go through the portal, they go to this base, they see there's a big weird handprint, which I guess was telling them there's a big monkey they got to worry about. Yeah. And then they're going through the woods on an adventure and they find a temple. And the a uh, video game temple, a video game temple, and the magic little girl with her deaf. Uh, she's the last of the ancient Iwi, Iwi. tribe, so Iwi. she believes. 
Yeah. And she presses a stone and a bunch of a water flow. Stone. It doesn't make any fucking sense. There's a bunch of stupid Indiana Jones bullshit that isn't explained. And then they find a big, like, Mothra energy web. That, oh, yeah, goo. Yeah, goo. They go through a goo. And they rip through the goo, and they find, oh, there is... A, the Iwi tribe has survived. And guess who runs the Iwi tribe? Another woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. There's a lot of women in charge here. Okay, I know. It's all DEI and then when of ESG scores. <laughs> Look, I'm in agreement. Can I speak to a man around here? There was too is many... Is King Kong's a man, please? Right. Well, maybe that's what they thought. Maybe they're like, well, there's too much masculine energy from uh, this King Kong guy. We got to balance it out. They don't even have wheels in their society because they got no men. No. Well, that was... Again, so we're talking about the monkeys are moving rocks for no reason. Then we meet this tribe that also moves rocks for no reason. Do you remember the scene where they're just like inexplicably lifting a large rock and moving it. And I'm oh, like, yeah. what do these people do? He's like, oh, look, they have those pyramids. That's what gives them their energy. I'm like, their energy, energy to what? do what? <laughs> like, this is to a- make more pyramids, They're Sherry. all wearing, like, fucking woven sandals, and they have, like, a big wheel with, like, hemp rope, and they're pushing it. I'm like, oh, yeah. This is, like, what happens when you don't think through any of this stuff, and you just go, yeah, it's a try. How come they didn't have, like, farms and stuff? What do they do? All I know is that they're just down there. They're telepathic, and they have crystal spears. And then sometimes, for fun, the kids run around and wave a strip of cloth in the air, and then you wrap a cloth around the girl, and I'm like, uh, yeah. okay, so I was thinking about, did you see the most recent Avatar movie or whatever else? I tried, but it was just so bad. But the reason Avatar kind of works is that James Cameron is clearly sat down with somebody, and he's like, okay, let's figure out what this culture is. Oh, what yeah. do they do for food? Like, wh what are the natural resources of their area? What are their tribal customs? This is just like, they're brown people with stuff on their face. You get it, right? They're locked in that wall. <laughs> and then they did the stone, and now they they can get in the wall. Yeah. So they were just in there? I guess so. Yeah. Well, they've been waiting for like the arrival. Vampire. It doesn't make sense. Like a mummy. I could not make sense of any of this. But they've been waiting for a child from the surface, mm -hmm. an Iwi child from Skull Island. So she's basically Jesus. She's the, the chosen uh. one to unlock Mothra for some reason. Oh, yeah. I didn't get that at all. No. So, that, so King Kong fights the bad King Kong. Right. The Scar Giver. And the Scar Giver releases a, a, an ice Godzilla to k try to kill King Kong, and King Kong gets his hand badly ice damaged Very and escapes. Very And escapes, yes. and that little short round monkey chases it with him after him. And then King Kong and the short round monkey find they the humans. They find the humans in the land of the tribesmen or whatever. Yeah, and so everybody and gets back together. And then I start laughing really, really hard. What happened then? Well, because King Kong's hand is frostbitten. And the doctor, beyond repair. Beyond repair. Ace Ventura says. Dr. So. Dentist Man says, uh -huh. oh, there's no way to repair that. Oh, my God. King Kong's hand Luckily. is frostbitten. Luckily. And I, I, Project Projectus. Yeah, he said, I forget what he called it, like Project fucking uh, Super Time Boomtown or whatever. Or something. He's like, oh, do you remember Project Boomtown? And you're like, yeah. what is Project Boomtown? <laughs> I was like, I was like, please tell me they do not have a robot hand already knew, built. Obviously, he goes. Remember when we built that robot hand for King Kong because that we King didn't Kong, use for some reason? Because King Kong. No, they were just just testing it. They were testing, and it. then their lab in the ho in the Hollow Earth got attacked by. Thankfully, evil, yeah. The evil monkeys didn't take the monkey-sized glove. <laughs> <laughs> Not power only glove. did they build a giant power glove, but it is in the lab in the Hollow Earth. It's not like back on the surface and they got to go get it. And it's also a right-armed glove. Thank God. Can you imagine if King Kong's left hand got destroyed? <laughs> that would have been like, <laughs> he got really lucky. They would have been like, fuck, why did we build a right-hand glove? We can't reconfigure it. Thankfully, they have a giant right-hand mecha glove for yeah. Godzilla. Yeah. At Which that point, it kind of feels like they're using King Kong. <laughs> When they start attaching like yeah. weapons of war to him, yes, it's like I don't really, I don't know if I feel comfortable with this. Well, I guess they like you guys could just go ask the military. You have a plane, <laughs> it flies around. There's a portal right there. Just go get the military. Well, the military is useless. Or find a man. Actually, why would the military? What what is it about this giant monkey that you can't just shoot him in the head a bunch of times? King Kong's uh, using like. A crystal axe. Can't you just get that crystal and make like fucking missiles out of it or something? Yeah, the whip hurt him. Yeah. I'm but pretty sure you could have like a rail gun. And whatever. Monsters, they're the only thing that can hurt monsters for some reason. Uh. So King Kong now has a magic hand. 
The deaf girl, for some reason. Power glove. Yeah, he gets yeah, a power glove. He gets a power glove. The deaf girl summons Mothra for a reason I also didn't understand. I really understand. wish we would have watched this in a different theater, <laughs> and I think you know what kind of theater I'm talking about. What? Because there's so many, there's so much, like, mean mugging <laughs> of the camera of King Kong going like, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's like Fast and the Furious, yeah. but, like, ramped you up to You want to see this in a downtown size. theater where everybody yeah. would hoot and holler yeah. with excitement when he raises his mighty mechanical <laughs> hand. <laughs> Suck my dick. So, he yeah. was signing it over and over. Oh, and yeah, the that's girl true. Just, oh, my God. King Kong knows sign language, and that's how he communicates with the deaf girl, who is his friend. Uh. So, at one point, they're reading a prophecy, and I guess that's where I was supposed to understand the movie, but I still didn't get it. But the prophecy was that the evil monkey tried to conquer the surface before, and he fucked up. And so, those monkeys are living for thousands of years? I guess, yeah. He's I didn't understand like 10, that. 10,000 years. I guess, well, Mothra is, like, ancient, but I guess the monkeys also live for thousands of years. How old was that little one? I, I, he must be, like, hundreds it was written of years on a old. Cave, it was, like, carved in a cave wall like the Aztecs, and then it... Cut to the monkeys and this they telepathic br- society that has access to unlimited uh, energy crystals. Is yeah, and then it cuts to the monkeys and they they bring the same dragon out. It's like, well, <laughs> are they following the process? Oh, that's the same guy. Okay, I think part of the movie must have gone missing in editing because uh. it seemed like there were like openings in the Hollow Earth that were opening up for the first time. And no, that doesn't make any sense. Has that monkey no. just been in hell hanging out this whole time for no reason? Just make digging. Making his guys dig and being a jerk. Okay. And there's no girls. There was no girl King Kong. There Kongs. needed to be this like thing where like Were there? No, we didn't see any women King Kongs. They're just being butt buddies? Well, because it would have been too obvious because then you would have been like, oh, King Kong's gonna he, that's gonna be the next movie is Lady Kong if they make another one. I don't want to see that. They're saving the love story for the last one. Well, you're gonna have <laughs> she to have see like it. lipstick, like yeah, she's a gonna dress. be <laughs> A curl. It's gonna be like you ever see that ape that was uh, being prostituted in like Thailand or whatever it was. Mm, no. Or they're like, we had to free this ape because they were just raping it. Yes, all the time, charging huh. ten dollars. Uh, and that yes. will be King Kong's girlfriend. Yeah, there needed to be the moment where it said like, oh, this monkey has been unleashed from his hell portal and is now returning to destroy the earth. Yeah. And I don't know if that happened, and if it did, I don't remember it happening. <sighs> well, it was okay. So. So. Uh, King Kong wants to destroy the hell monkey. So he has to go to the surface and find Godzilla. Godzilla. He's got to lure he's Godzilla. Been, he's been charging up the whole movie for yes. no reason. Well, he's been charging up because Godzilla is subconsciously aware of the triangle signature. Oh, yeah. And he's preparing for that for some reason. He kills uh, He kills Tiamat, which is a Dungeons & Dragons uh, dragon. Yeah. So I don't know what was going on there, but he kills that. And he, How come he didn't kill her before? Like, she's just hanging I, out Well, there. he Why didn't need the energy before, but now he sucks her energy. He goes to a uh, nuclear power plant. He goes he sucks su- that Superman dry. Superman Fortress of Solitude. Basically, yeah. He ruins France's nuclear power plant. Yeah, he destroys a lot of things. And they try things. to kill him for some reason. Yeah, then they're like, I'm like, I don't understand your relationship with Godzilla, because early on in the movie, you guys established that you just kind of let him do whatever he wants, but now you're shooting missiles at him, which you already know is not going to work, I assume. Yeah. Like, why do you think this one time after, I think, I assume this is like three movies of shooting missiles at it, that they're like, okay, that doesn't work, so let's yeah. just leave it alone. But uh, this time the French show up and shoot missiles at it and immediately all get uh, decimated. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on. So then they activate the pyramid. Tra- okay. King Kong goes to Egypt, mm-hmm. uh, fights Godzilla a little bit. That was cool. That was cool. Messed up the pyramids. Yeah, they needed the more of the movie. We needed to just be monster. And when the movie was just monster fighting, I'm like, oh, thank God, thank these God. fucking women are yeah. shutting up. Yeah, that and this better. deaf girl is done being magical. She's wearing like robes and glowing and shit. Yeah. Okay, so King Kong fights Godzilla, and then doesn't Mothra like show up too? And oh yeah, like, she summons Mothra, who shows up and is like shows up. <laughs> yeah, talks, talks like Beaker. The, all three of them like talk to each other <laughs> with the little girl on the top of the pyramid going, wait, we must work together. But she can't say it because she's oh, deaf. Oh, yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. And Godzilla gives this Mothra knowing looks nod. retarded. It's all retarded. <laughs> talk like that the whole time. <laughs> but what are they saying to each other? We got to go fight this one monkey. We got to team up. Yeah, we got to team up. But why? Can't we just they leave, hate the other monkeys. Can't they just leave that monkey and his ice dragon in their little hell world? Are they doing something? No, because they... 
Remember are that? Are those guys going to destroy the natives? No, the monkey that looked like a bum yeah. saw one of the portals and then ran back to hell and explained that he saw hidden portals. Oh, so now. So I think they were looking for portals in there. That's why they were doing all the digging. He found, okay, he found the portals. all right. So then that's what King Kong was saying to, see, they needed like some a guy there to say, King Kong is telling Godzilla about their plan to come up and, <laughs> and God, that pisses Godzilla off because he's he protecting saying? the surface world. Right. And Godzilla's like, oh, yeah. You also needed somebody to be like, if that hell monkey comes to Earth, we're fucked. Alpha Core won't even be able to stop them. Isom will be powerless. Sorry, say Sorry! They needed more of that. So, uh, Godzilla, King Kong, and Mothra. They had a black guy, too, so they could have said all like, damn, if those motherfuckers get to the surface, we're fucked, right? <laughs> they could have said all this stuff. That they should have had a more aggressive exposition black guy. Yeah. This black guy was a little too timid. I was, so I'm gonna assume Mothra had to show up to broker a peace between Godzilla and King Kong. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Without without that, they would have never worked. They together. can't communicate. <laughs> They were going to kill each other. They were shooting. He was j blowing all of his wad all right. over King Kong. And Mothra goes, you don't want the Earth to be destroyed by they this hell monkey. They just can't stop fighting when they see each right. other. Well, Godzilla, they're like Hulk Hogan. King Kong was kind of like reasonable. He's like, Godzilla, hold on, hold on. He Godzilla's had a plan. Just, you can yeah. tell he's working out a monkey plan <laughs> to get him in the portal. Yeah, he's trying to drag him into it. he fucked up his plan right away. Yes. Okay, so that's why they had to release Mothra to right, broker it, was, it did read like a wrestling piece. match. Like, yeah. The way they're... Jumping off the building. Dude, he's like swinging him into pyramids and Stunners. Godzilla shoots a laser. So they go back down to Hollow Earth. It's Godzilla, King Kong, and Mothra against... No, wait, don't they... No, they all have a big fight, but there's no gravity. Because the, the Mexicans yeah. just turn off the gravity. But then... Uh, for two minutes. Yeah, So for, but they go down to Hollow Earth to do that first. Yeah. yeah. So they yeah. go down to the Hollow Earth. The Mexicans turn off gravity for no reason I can understand. Just, you know. Just to fuck to up keep things. Them, to give them some time. I mean, <laughs> I guess, yeah, it gives them time. He's like, even the black guy goes, they could turn off gravity, but it only lasts for a few minutes. Yeah, that so was like, good exposition. Why would they do that, though? I guess just so we, they can fight in midair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, that was, okay, that was cool. So all the monsters are fighting in zero gravity. Uh, again, it's Hell Monkey and Ice Demon Dragon. Ice Godzilla. Yeah, versus, versus King, King Kong. Kong there was Godzilla. that cool sh shot where uh, Godzilla and Shiva are running at each other, and King Kong and the Scar Giver are jumping in the air, and it's like slow motion, like a two D. I really hated that. I liked shot. that. I was, and I was thinking, <laughs> who the fuck is this for? That was for me. This is for a guy that has uh, a Tweety Bird on his shirt with the arms crossed. <laughs> <laughs> This is for a guy yeah. that buys, uh, It lets you know what's going on. The, it lets you know who's versus who. It was like your uh, fighting game, like. You know, pre-match, you yeah. know, lineup. Uh huh. It's like at the MMA when the guys got to get up to each other. Those and, are know. real guys, though. Yeah, this I was know. computers. Well, that's why it's better because it's computer monsters. And then I guess so they go through a portal again to get back topside. Finally, this is right. And I think I said that when it happened. Oh, fu finally, they're gonna finally, fight in the they're city. Gonna fight in the city. Yes. At least uh. the scriptwriter understood that you had to have the final climax in a big city full of buildings and nonsense. And people. Uh, unfortunately, what is obvious, the second you go, hey, this guy has a crystal that forces this dragon to fight for him, I go, eh, so he's going to break the crystal, and then the ice dragon's going to work with them together, right? Well, yeah, that's good. Sure. What I mean, mean, sure. What do you want? I don't know, man. Like, it's again. It's a slave. It's a magical dragon that's been enslaved for thousands of years. Of course you want to see it set free. Yeah. I, well, I, I guess, uh, you know the, the stakes of the battle. The stakes of the battle are... We got to destroy that crystal. It's the only way to stop this fucking yeah, when ice has asshole. Has there been a? When has that not <laughs> been the case? It's fine. It's good. It's uh, it is what. Remember you the fucking voodoo doll in Indiana Jones yeah, too? Yeah, I do I remember that. <laughs> Short round whips his ass. That was pretty good. Mothra was Mothra like Mothra was fighting, but not that effectively. I don't remember. Mothra looks gross. Oh, at one point, the Australian oh, guy has to disguise the jet as a bunch of those thunder dragons to oh, turn yeah. the tides of the battle, so that was thrilling. Uh, and they kill, like, they knock over all the buildings in Rio. Yeah. They killed They did not knock down Jesus the Redeemer, though. I was surprised. <laughs> or Christ the Redeemer. surprising. I was like, I was, when they showed Christ the Redeemer, I'm like, please tell me King Kong's not going to knock that thing over, because that's going to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, they probably couldn't do that. Probably can't they get away with that. They could put that in it for a Chinese release. 
can't put Christianity in it. My note here was this is a King Kong movie about white people finding crystals. Mm-hmm. That's not exactly great. Um, but I guess, yeah, so what you want is the monster fighting. But that was like, great when King Kong grabbed that little kid ape and used it to use hit it to hit other apes. Like an, <laughs> yeah, a he was like chucks. beating the shit out of people with the little monkey. I really hated that little monkey. I wanted somebody to crack. His I was head gonna open. say probably the parts of the movie that I thought were the most interesting was when it's uh, there's no dialogue. It's just King Kong grunting and everybody yeah. express. Again, it still looks like a fucking cartoon monkey, but. I was like, yeah, this is kind of like a stupid little Pixar movie about a King Kong being an asshole. It was stupid. You're right about that. Uh, So they break the crystal. Shiva turns on the scar giver. And they both go, ah. (laughs) They both use their breath, the Godzilla breath. They charge up and go, ah. Godzilla really had nothing to do in this movie other than show up and fight in the final battle, though. Godzilla? They should not call this movie Godzilla X Kong. They should call it King Kong's Magic Adventure featuring some Godzilla. It just At got a little. Point. It was a little all over the place, honestly. If the stuff with the human beings was less dumb, because the whole time is uh, that this, it's about a mom being like, "I've adopted a little brown child, but should she be with her brown family instead of me?" Yeah, like a little. It's a little bit too much, like Harry and the Hendersons. Like, yes. go, go, go be with your, <laughs> go be where you belong in nature. Like, well. <laughs> I mean, she should be there because she has psychic abilities. Yeah, so. she should be with those people. It makes yeah, perfect sense. she should. But instead you she can, goes... You can commute here, like, whenever you want. Yeah, Your you base can come is visit. right there. Come on over. Why not? And she's, like, 14, isn't she? She's 14. She's so, friends. She, she goes down there. She should definitely live she's there for a little bit. She's immediately friends with a bunch of other telepathic mute children. She's running around with strips of cloth and shit on her face. You're she's like, best friends with the leader of their, yeah. the lady that r- runs their society. And you're going to drag her back to the surface and force her to go to public school? What's wrong with yeah. you? Yeah. This is paradise exactly. for her. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you want her to get raped? You don't, you don't put her in a public school. Leave her down here. Call CPS. Yeah. So they can intervene. Uh, so that's the moral of the human plot line is she's like, but this is your home. And I go, uh, the little girl's going to say, you're my home or whatever. She goes, you did say but that. You're my yeah. home. And I'm like, yeah, there it is. There's that line. So if this movie, look, all the human shit is not worth suffering through to get to the monster fighting. And the monster fighting was okay. Like, it's not, it's not enough of it, honestly. Now that I think about it, the ape fights yeah. were cool. Him beating up a bunch of apes with a little ape was cool. Uh, I wanted more slugfest shit like that, and him fighting Godzilla could have could have maybe gone on longer. I don't know, man. Look, it was like kind of cool. Even the screen the X, fight was cool. I didn't hate the screen X though. It's like, I it's it cool. made me fucking sick. <laughs> I was always jumping around because it was like they stretch. They like took a took a they rectangle took, like, and Photoshop and stretched it out. They did stretch it out a little so bit. It, it was weird. Look like a it's not panoramic. Well, the extreme like they edges. Advertise. The extreme edges are very stretched out, and then like it's like the stretching increases the further away from the screen. It makes you very gets. aware that you're sitting in a theater because it's shaped like the seats yeah. instead of just being a window that you're like It felt like one of those themes. I thought I was on like a theme park ride. It felt like whenever they did it. Like, whoa! And I kept waiting for the seats to be like, Yeah. Whoa. And when we went in, we yeah. thought, we didn't think it was anything special because there was. we thought it was like a It looked like a normal screens. boxy theater. I thought it would be three screens, but no, they just projected on the walls. So we walked out and I saw an employee, a girl, and I said, hey, is this the is this the SpaceX? She goes, yeah. And I goes, what makes it SpaceX? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what do you care? Get in there. I don't know. <laughs> I thought the technology was kind of, yourself. I could see how that technology could be uh, pretty, I thought it was interesting. I don't know if I would do it. I would do it for these big, loud, stupid movies again. You know, it's kind of cool. No, nah, you need, man, 16 by 9. I don't think don't, this movie would have been any better in a 16 by 9 on. format. I need, like, to s- some distance. I would like to know exactly what gets cropped out for the Screen X format when they go back. Because it's not, again, the, half the time the walls are just blank. And then sometimes it's like, ooh, it's extending out. Yeah. Uh, so ultimately, I, when I came out of the theater, I was like, I gotta tell people not to see this movie. Don't see this movie. Don't yeah. Don't see this. Don't movie. see this movie. Although now we're talking about it, it sounds great. No, it does. Well, <laughs> it's just too long. It's definitely if they too long. Cut everything in half. And, and because it's again, if they would have had one guy, here's the problem. Mm. Uh, the black guy is kissing the main lady's ass because he yeah. wants access to all this shit. The 
Ace Ventura guys obviously Trying in to get love her with pants. her. They yes. needed a guy who was like talking just shit busting to her. her chops. Yeah. Like, you're a shitty mom. <laughs> you brought your daughter down here? Are you fucking stupid? Is, is your PhD in being a mom? I don't think so, because that's a really bad... You know, you make a really good point. Is you can that... have her stow away or something. And then she has the exact same conversation about coming down to Hollow Earth with the black guy. Yeah. Exact same. These movies are uh, weird about just having an asshole around. Like, a real... And, like, they kill off the asshole immediately. And it's like, no. And he was need... way over the top. Well, he wasn't, like... And he wasn't, like, effective at it. You need an effective asshole who's literally, like... You guys are retarded, you know? Not like, yeah. oh, he's the comic relief because he's big and fat and whatever. Yeah. It reminds me, did you see the new Mortal Kombat movie that came out? Which like, one? Like two or three years ago? I don't know. Probably not. But I remember watching that movie and going, okay, this movie's not great, but the guy playing Kang Kano is killing it. Because he's just ripping. Oh, I think I saw that. He's one. ripping on everyone the whole movie, and he's like, yeah. "Fuck your fucking stupid spinny hat! You guys are all gay. This is Kano's yeah. place." And I'm like, mm -hmm. "Wow, this guy's making the movie." And then they make him a villain and kill him. I'm like, "No, you fucked it up. He was the heart of the movie, the asshole. He's saying what we're all thinking. This is retarded." We should not be. Man, and you that's watch, what you need in this King Kong movie. You should watch Roadhouse. Yeah, oh, the I watched it. The new oh, one is good. Yeah, no, it's not good. Oh, really? It's I've heard a lot of mixed stupid. things. Anyone who said it was good is uh, dumb. Wow, I'll uh, have to make time yeah, to give see it. A, it. A, give it a watch. But this movie, when you have such a stupid, Too much broke back mountain. When it is kind of a stupid premise, you probably should have a guy to just be there and be like, "So what? King Kong and Godzilla are friends now?" And they're like, "Yeah." Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Straight guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, well, whatever. Let's just get the fuck out of here then. <laughs> why, yeah. are they, why are they friends? Because of Mothra. Oh. Oh. Is Mothra a girl? <laughs> yeah, there should have just been one guy to be like. Oh, that's gross when she talks. You need a, you need a stand-in for the audience <laughs> who's like, I have no fucking idea what's going on. Wait, is your daughter, <laughs> did you know your daughter was magic? No, this is all new. Okay. Ah, she's just glowing now, huh? Yeah. You know? To save my daughter. Is <laughs> she adopted? I couldn't tell. <laughs> Who's the dad? I don't know, man. We just found her on an island. Mm. He just took her? He got papers or what? Is this official? Uh, so this was uh, King Kong X Godzilla. Better than I saw him. It's better I always than like I saw. To, we always like to. On a scale of uh, one on to a... ten, I saw yeah, it was better. It was better than I saw. Him. Uh, it had more believable characters than I saw. Him. Mm. Monkeys were doing something. Right. Uh, there's a reason. I feel like for they've them. written themselves into a corner now. I saw him or no, King Kong. No, King Kong. Uh, well, they want this monster. My King verse. Kong's got a dog now, and he's got a whole bunch of. <laughs> he's the, got the a little snow gods. The ice yeah. Godzilla became his dog. Well, you need. You know what? You probably needed at the end of the movie. You need King Kong sitting on his throne as all the monkey people. Go, ah, King Kong, our new king, he freed us. He is King Kong. He is the king, the king of Kong. the Kongs. And he can have the, <laughs> the little monkey can be next to him and go, ah! And they go, yeah. And then there's like a cranky Kong. <laughs> yeah. <a> funky Kong. Shooting barrels around. Yeah. So that would have been awesome if you would have picked up a big barrel at one point and gone like, so in the last, would have made a bunch of <laughs> sounds like bowling pins. It should have been funny. It the movie should have been, been funny. It's fucking stupid. If you had a little like uh, Donkey Kong side scrolling thing and like At the beginning. throws it down a ladder and they're like, Wah! yeah, yeah, I would have had fun with that. Uh, so wait, he teamed up with Godzilla in the previous movie too. Every single one he teams up with them. Okay, eventually. So if they do another one of these, they got to team up again, man. They're not good friends. In case you didn't notice well, that. Well, because the, the, the Godzilla formula is a Monster of the Week formula. It's always like a new monster shows up and Godzilla has to fight in the Japanese ones, right? Well, there's monsters all over the Earth. Didn't you remember that map? There was monsters all over the Earth, so they're going to have to fight a different stupid monster. Probably the government. The U.S. government. It'll probably be. Takes over their project. They're trying to get. Yeah, project. they're trying to get monkey blood to make monkey soldiers, and they have to fight oh. the monkey soldiers. Oh, that would be good. I've always wanted them to do that with Jurassic Park. Like, that's the obvious evolution of that franchise. Turning me. people into reptiles. World War J is that the governments oh. of the world are injecting dino DNA into the soldiers, and now it's just like an eternal fucking dinosaur war. And guys, God, and military are so guys are riding on the stupid. back. And try say, well, all of this shit is so stupid because it's like, what do you do? King Kong was supposed to be, hey, look, a giant building, a uh, giant ape climbed a building and kidnapped a girl. That's it. There's no real way to place to go from there. Godzilla was. Hey, this monster is going to fight a different monster every one of these movies. Ah, yeah, cool, okay. whatever. Who cares? Uh, trying to take that now and he's make raising a, a family. legacy franchise out of it, you're like, 
where do you go from here? Like, are they gonna go? To, they're gonna go to space next. They're already inside the Earth, a magical Jurassic Park type uh, situation. That'd be cool. Godzilla with a spacesuit. Yeah, maybe they got to go fight monsters on a different planet, and that white lady's mm. got to bring her fucking magic deaf kid again. Maybe there's a Hollow Earth inside of Hollow Earth <laughs> that they could go to. I don't know. I did see there's a new Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and I got confused for a second. Where I'm like, is that what we're seeing? Oh, monkeys, God. huh? Yeah. What is our fascination with monkeys? Last time I saw that franchise, John Lithgow was raising a su- a smart monkey, that. and now they're <laughs> now they're like, like, wait, what? It's evolved what a lot here? from there. Is that the same monkey? James Franco was was James Franco on that one with John Lithgow, I think so. or is that the other one? I think so. Anyway, my advice to those of you thinking about seeing Godzilla X Kong is uh, wait for it to show up on HBO Max and fast forward past all the parts where a white lady explains portals and crystals. Yeah, just put it on in the background. Put it on the background. And try to look if there's... If, every time you if hear the pyramids, Godzilla sound... Yeah. <laughs> Definitely turn back for then that. And there's going to be a fight happening. If a bunch of pyramids show up on the screen, get excited because a dragon and a monkey are about to destroy some pyramids, which was kind of cool. Godzilla, I get the sense he doesn't really care if he kills people. He doesn't really seem No, to Godzilla's be like a huge, weird asshole, but also like... And then at the end of the movie, he goes to sleep in the Coliseum again. Again, like, again. humanity's relationship with Godzilla is not made. It's kind of like he's just an attractive nuisance or it's, whatever it is where but he kills if people. other monsters show up, he'll kill those monsters. And they're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fine. As long he's as not he's, trashing America. I noticed that. He's not trashing America. And that's maybe all that counts. Something, if he gets close to America, saying. we'll go and g- <laughs> Go back to Rio de Janeiro. Oh, up, 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 up. All right. So I'm going to give this... Uh, how many isoms out of isom? I don't even know how that ranking system works. Three isoms. No, that's too many. Out of five? No, out of out one. Of ten? One isom is the worst, the worst thing, thing there could, could ever have. This was three above that. Okay. Those, so better. Yeah. Shouldn't it be negative isoms then? No. Okay. You make up your own scale. <laughs> I know how my scale works in my head. I'm going to give this a uh, two and a half Yaira trailers. How's that? As long as you can re- replicate that scale. <laughs> I got to keep this in mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, was a lot of, there was a lot of bad acting. The acting is bad. They didn't have a single, like, named star, huh? It's, like, honestly interesting to see a bunch of guys trying to do, like, a Chris Pratt impression or trying to do a, uh, what's the guy from uh, Drive? Or whatever. Uh, Ryan Gosling? Yeah, trying to do a Ryan Gosling a Ryan Gosling? The, t- the Australian guy felt like he was trying to be, like, quirky Ryan Gosling fun. I thought he was literally trying to be Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was trying to do, like, Ryan Gosling and, like, some of these fun. Ryan more Gosling? Fun- yeah, have you ever seen, like, uh, what was that no movie? No chance. He's not even close to good looking, that mm. Australian guy. I don't know. He, he, was, uh, he was trying to play that type. Hmm. The black guy was trying to give his best impression of, uh, I don't even know. Jack Black. Yeah. Black Jack Black. Yeah. Black Jack. <laughs> there should be a guy just named Black Jack. Yeah. He's just a Jack Black and he sings. Uh, so this movie sucks. And that's the bottom okay, line. Okay. Well, perhaps we'll see a good movie one of these days. I offered to go see Ghostbusters. People say that. Ghostbusters is not a good movie. It's people shit. People say it's okay. It's shit. It's got kids in it. Why don't you pick a movie then? I told you to watch American Fiction. <laughs> All right, I'll watch it. It's a little late to review that. Why? No one's seen it. Yeah, that's true. It, didn't it? Did it win Best Picture? Or who got nominated? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I don't know what won. I don't know. Um, I think it was okay. something about a lady. Let's read some super a lady chats. One? God damn! I'm enough. Enough with the ladies in the movies. Fuck's sake. This was a, a diversity tour de force. Oh. Does it have to be a deaf little brown child? Okay, no more ladies. We got a deaf preteen girl. <laughs> uh, fuck off. Oh, no. I'm going right. to Ed Pisker myself, as you've uh, stated. Oh, oh, man. It's Pisker time. It's Pisker time. Grab your guns and your battery packs. Ugh, well, guys, screw my brains out. We're gonna read a couple right. super chats here. Jim Satala for a big twenty. You guys have to look at the Doku Man cards posted on the Ripperverse thread. They are hysterically bad. You can do an hour on the nine cards. You're missing out on gold. See, I've okay. seen. People don't understand. I've seen all this. Dick hasn't oh, you seen have? it all. Yeah, I saw those cards like a year ago, and I went, "God, Eric is a terrible writer." Somebody told me I missed an opportunity to read the art book as Ricky Ritardo. 
I think they're right. Well, we should have done that. Maybe next thank time. Thank God we have more pages. Thank God we have more pages. Jared F. Sean for five. I lulled when the tribe people could read each other's minds, started using sign language to communicate with each other. <laughs> Classic That's women. That's a very good point. <laughs> if you could read their minds, you wouldn't want to either. Uh, Graham Cass for five. The deaf girl looks like she was holding something in, and she couldn't tell if it was a long squeaky fart or a hot liquid toilet filling dump. Mm. That kid got cast for her ability to just kind of make a sad face at the camera, which is what she did most of the movie doing. She's like, King Kong's hurt. And just stares sadly at the camera. And I was like, okay. It worked, though. She did look autistic or retarded. She was autistic. She, but she's, she was just she's deaf. filling the part, uh, the part of the autistic magic kid. She might as well have been autistic. Deaf, autistic, same thing. just going to roll a head in next time. Gam 3D for five. It's like I saw him, how the big hell monkey is trying to kill the good monkey. Holy heck, dick. <laughs> I agree. It's not a good summary of I saw him. That's not a summary of Isom. That's a summary, That's of, a summary King of King Kong. Kong. Movie. It's completely it is different. similar to Isom in a number of those... Uh, Motivation. Yes, but King Kong was deeply disrespected. But he got attacked. At least, at least King Kong had better motive. He got attacked out of nowhere. He's trying to be a nice guy. I oh, saw him went yeah. nuts on That's people true. for no That's reason. True. See, he's better. A uh, Gun Ranger for two says so should have reviewed Four Lions. I hear about that movie. Is What's it good? Four Lions? I forget, but people are saying it's good. I keep hearing that name. Four Lions is. Huh. Wait, from 2010? 2010? Fuck you. I'm confused. Why do I keep hearing that? Did somebody recommend that to me, like, recently? Uh, I don't know why Joker. I keep hearing that name Jokester. recently. Graham Cast for two. Next up, Godzilla X Kong, Retarded Kids Save Earth. That'd God, be a good if, one. If they keep having that deaf girl and her fucking mom come back. Uh, not a good it's franchise. Not even mom. Straturgery for two. I can super chat here. Trucks me. Yes, you can. Val for two. Vito, why you block when you're called out on your tardness? I don't know. What did you say exactly? Sometimes I block people who are assholes. I just block everybody. Yeah, I know. It's probably smart. Uh, Patches for five says, is that a Deadpool 3 homage shirt, Vito? Is it? Put some uh, eyes yeah. on that. This is Deadpool's, uh, it is kind of Deadpool's logo when you think about it. We got a nice picture in front of the Deadpool and Wolverine poster uh -huh. of me. Uh, Cara Fro for five. Thanks for the bonus review episode, guys. You're very welcome, Cara. Uh, <laughs> K to the Swiss for a huge fifty dollars says, "Bring on the pirate dick." I can't do it now. I don't have a. I don't, there's nothing in the booty. There's nothing. Yeah, there's got to be a prize. I gotta, yeah, I can't do it. Maybe we could save that for Friday. We'll uh, yeah, remember. We we'll got fifty bucks tab. in the bank. Patches for five. Did Vito enjoy some Credit. of his kibble nerd clusters with a cherry icy during the movie? I got a popcorn. I did get a regular Pepsi. I shouldn't have got a Diet Pepsi. Oh, but. my God. I didn't drink the whole thing. That doesn't matter. Why it's a movie. And it's a little treat. Oh. A little movie treat. I've been good. You should never, ever drink regular soda. I agree. Never. I only do it at the movies. Every other time. Never. It's diet. Never. You know, like you're in the movie and you're like, huh, I just want a little. Oh, my, hey, my. I'm going to throw up even thinking about <laughs> regular soda. All right. Well, I should have got the diet. Cypherson sucked us for 10. I didn't even eat the whole popcorn. I had like a little bit of popcorn. you drank yourself stupid on soda. <laughs> I didn't drink the whole soda. I drank like a third and of And it's the like soda. this much, too. Yeah, well, because like oh, you, you just get the- sugars in that? Well, because you did the big one because it's like 50 cents more than the little one. It's like, well, I might You well. shouldn't be drinking even a little of soda. I don't, I don't go to the movies very often. Oh, I didn't get never. Any, I didn't get any candy or anything. I didn't get any- uh, So your reward pretzel. is- Pure Bites. candy? <laughs> yeah. I'll, Soda's liquefied I'll get the candy, candy later. I guess that is true. Cypher, so you're going to be surprised. You're this, trying to get me to- I think this Friday, you're going to be- uh, Of your weight? Yeah. I'll put something good in the box then. Don't lie to me. Cypher's and suck this for 10. Vito, don't ever stop the pirate voice again. They paid double to get the pirate. <laughs> it's funny. It's so funny to watch you argue with a pirate. No Vito's money today, though. You got to be fair. Oh, shit. Wait, oh, I said you it. said it. <laughs> I tried to not say it, and I said it anyway. Wow, that was a good trick. He put it wrong, and then you corrected it. I know. Well, good work. On the John for five. You guys need to call these the biggest problem in movie title, otherwise it makes no sense. Yeah, I totally agree on the John. I think it makes totally. I think it makes perfect sense. Cypher Sucktus for five says, I hate on the John so much. Never read his gay chats ever. It's so gay, 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 TBF. See, someone disagrees with him. On the John for two says, Cypher Sucktus can suck this dick. Okay. Gigawar for 10. Didn't even know this movie existed until 10 minutes ago when I saw this into my subscription feed. And everything said could be said of a Godzilla movie a few years ago in a dollar theater. You still have to see Godzilla minus zero, though, huh? 
That was a good one. That was a good well, one. Wow. Yeah. It was uh, pretty, pretty good. On the John for five. They need to transition King Kong before it's progressive enough for me. Mm. Godzilla's non binary, so she's good. I laughed so hard when it had a, they had a robot hand ready to go in the jungle. In the jungle! It wasn't even like we got a radio back to base and have them drop it into the portal or something. It's just like, hey, remember when we built King Kong a robot hand? Oh, yeah, we did do that. You know that. what annoyed me the most about that? It what? wasn't that. It was that one guy, Ace Ventura, took the plane, the hover plane, back to the base. Yeah. And by himself was able to ratchet strap this giant hand ton power glove right. onto a hover glider with no assistance in about 20 minutes. <laughs> he did it by I, himself. I couldn't put a fucking I couldn't put a fucking snooker table in the back of my car in that amount of time. What are you talking about? Well, we established early on in the movie he's so good at dropping out of a crane to repair a tooth. Clearly he must know how to attach. Yeah, and just, then he just yank it out. Like, man, that's not how a root canal also, goes. Oh, yeah, he just he just yanked out uh King Kong's tooth. It must have been really loose, I guess. Uh, Michael winning for two. Vito, your side tits look great. That's Thank wonderful. you. It's very hot That's... in here. I had to take off my shirt. And uh, Jim Satala for 20. Dick, the writing on the cards is so bad, it's like he's got to be doing it on purpose. No, he's just dumb. <laughs> yeah, he's an idiot. His watcher character doesn't know anything about the characters, and Darren's superpower is the ability to get respect <laughs> from everyone. <laughs> okay. Can somebody send me some of this shit? I uh, the cards are out there. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, those are all our done. super chats. All right. Thanks, well, everybody. Guys, thanks for watching the biggest review of Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Not the biggest problem. The biggest in problem in Godzilla. What's the biggest problem in Godzilla New That's We forgot to do that. Oh. That's the whole fucking point because you changed the fucking title. <laughs> what is the biggest problem in Godzilla Kong New Empire? It's the fucking robot hand, the God in the Machine bullshit. That was the best part of no, the that's movie. No, the, that's the moment. I mean, it's the best part in like, okay, I'm going to stop taking this movie seriously now. Yeah. But in, from a writing standpoint of... Oh, thank God we got this. There's other ways to get King Kong a robot hand if you really need him to have a robot hand in the movie. Like what? I, like, I don't know. Have An like, alien shows up? Have like- a dance at Grover's people? For, you know what uh, you do? Gonzo you... from the Muppets in Space sure. come down and go, Hey, what's up? <laughs> With their noses. <laughs> hey, King Kong, we heard you need a robot hand. That's not what I would suggest. That'd what be cool. What if- Hey, remember Project uh, Gundam or whatever? And they cut. They had been building a giant robot to fight Godzilla, and they go, "Can we retrofit that hand for Godzilla?" You'd uh, have been criticizing the shit out of that. No, I would have been like fitting a hand. At least, that's better than they just built a robot hand for no reason and forgot about it yeah, until this at exact least it moment. It fits. It's like bespoke. Yeah, I guess it would have been hard. The Gundam to fit hand it. would have been all goofy. Whatever they could have. They could it's still goofy. All of it's goofy. Uh, to me, that was the moment I started laughing really hard, and I said, this is the worst writing ever. Also, big fat white guy immediately getting eaten by a plant, a plant. because he was the one sane character who went, this is all retarded, and I hate all of you. Yeah. Yeah. God forbid we have no monsters. <laughs> and then they all shit all over him for that. He says, well, God forbid we have no monsters and a shit ton of money or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, forbid we, God forbid we get rich and have no monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, that's a pretty good argument. Yeah, that's uh, the government wants to come in. And then and that stupid Ace Ventura guy convinced the black podcasting conspiracists to not podcast about it because it would ruin, like, it would spoil the native land. Yeah, how are they going like, to get down there? How are you there? lecturing a black guy about that, bro? <laughs> how is an Australian lecturing a fucking black guy about spoiling the native land? Like, where do you get off? I was like, hello, can you fucking. Also, like, what, are they going to lead tourist expeditions to the center of the earth anytime soon? The psychics? I think you can make a little documentary. I think they can handle it. Yeah. Mothra and shit can handle it. I'm sure they'll be fine. What was your the biggest pro problem? The biggest problem in Godzilla was that when the bad monkey gets his crystal smashed, the dragon controlling crystal smash, mm -hmm. there's no moment where he goes, What? <laughs> like, <laughs> Like that. And then you, you immediately like, cut to the mouth of the ice dragon. <laughs> yeah, going, going <laughs> they, <laughs> they shot it like a wrestling scene, so it's like, oh, the guy, the dragon kind of realizes it, and he's like, oh, huh? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But it should have been like, <laughs> I'm going to say also uh, PG-13 green blood. If this movie had, like, some people yeah. get torn up. And too many women, obvious. obvious. Too many women.
There was women a- in positions of power. Why did her boss have to be a woman? Isn't it enough that she's a well, woman? Yeah, her boss was a woman. Yeah, it was just like some random lady. And then the scientist under her was another woman. There's a lot of, a lot of. And then the lady running stuff. the tribe, the uh, the Earth Mexicans were, yeah, was a woman. It's a very female centric movie. Godzilla, woman? Mo- Godzilla uh, was a woman in that Matthew only Broderick in the Matthew Broderick one. one. I think in this one, usually no. it's a man. It's usually, well, I don't know if it's specified. I think it's usually supposed to be a man though. Is it non-binary? I think Godzilla is understood to be male, but I, I could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe if I listen to some episodes of Godzilla versus Podcast Zero, I'll be able to find Check it out. out. Check that one out. Doesn't Tony from Hack the Movies have a Godzilla thing? He does. He did a review of this movie, but he didn't. I didn't watch it in time to be warned off. Mm, it's bad. All right. If you guys Thanks, want everyone. more of 